Paniago lies at the base of the Alps, between Venice and Trieste, and just 30 minutes from Yugoslavia and the Iron Curtain. Every man is employed in making knives, and each house is a small factory. The secrets of manufacture are passed from father to son to grandson, and each man stamps his trademark and his skill on every blade he fashions. Probably the most important man in town is the postman, because Maniago is a town that lives by exports, and its orders come by mail. Its knives go to every country in the world, and the knives are fashioned according to the tastes and the needs of different nationalities. artisan in Maniago. He makes only eight knives a month, every bit of them by hand. Each knife is a jewel. Some families have expanded to build larger factories, and everyone in town reinvests the greater part of his profits into new machinery, new tools that will help him improve his product. Every man in town owns his own house and a small piece of ground. Buyers come from the world outside to Maniago to place their orders and to outline their special requirements for their own special markets. It all started here, on this stream, in the 14th century. This building housed the first forge. It is still used today. Maniago's first large order came from Venice. Spears, swords, cutlasses and daggers with which to fight the pirates. And on the same stream, today the men of Maniago forge blades for kitchen knives, plasters, trowels, meat cleavers and sides.
This is all handicraft. Each man is master of the blade he works and gives it a style that is all his own. No two knives are alike. But skill is not enough to make knives. And during the war, and shortly after, the forges of Maniago were still because there was no coal. And the men of Maniago were idle because there was no steel. Now, thanks to ERP, Maniago has both coal and steel. And production is up to pre-war standards. This is the Marshall Plan working for the little man. Maniago also has larger factories. Factories dedicated to the manufacture of kitchen knives and scissors. Citizens of Maniago are particularly proud of this hospital which is now being built. The initial funds came from the U.S. Lura Fund, and the work is now being carried on with a contribution of 2% from each worker's pay, from each maker of knives, and also from the pay of girls who gather silkworms, and of these, the town's carpenters. is also the manager of the local football team. Maniago is a prosperous town. The people live in a standard that is enviable, not only in Italy, but in many parts of the world. It is an exceptional town. Its prosperity is due entirely to its exports. And each man's well-being depends upon himself and upon his ability and his willingness to work. Each worker picks his pastime. Some of them play football, others watch. Maniago's football team this year won the regional championships. Other workers prefer to hunt. And still others prefer the mountain stream. And on the mountains that rise over Maniago, the Alpine troops patrol the border. center of relaxation. Here, the owners of factories and the factory workers enjoy themselves in the same place. And the next morning is another day. Thank you.